What's going on guys, Tybrick here, back with another video, and today we're doing episode 2 of Fury. So, the first episode was pretty fun, it was a little bit difficult, and this boss I've been playing quite a while, I do explain it a little bit, but, um, yeah, it's, it's a really, really hard game. Uh, the timing is very, very, very quick, and you have to do things very fast, and it's, it's pretty hard. So, yeah, this is going to be the second boss, it seems like... Um, this game is just going to be consistent of bosses. You go from one boss to the next. It's a totally different area. They have totally different moves and stuff like that. So, But the concept is basically the same. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start the second boss. Alright, so I don't know where we are now. Ooh, some sort of orb thing. Let's see what this is. I'll tell you what I know on the way. But don't expect all the answers. It's all about what a man does. That, my friend, is a prison. A prison within a prison. <laughs> A very clever trick. So we were in some sort of prison and now you we're in another and prison. Prisoner have a lot in common. She turned up one day, destroyed everything in her wake, and then bam! She got caged. It also seems like this dude following us is some sort of our imagination because he doesn't seem to have to walk anywhere. He just appears everywhere. So maybe he's we're imagining him or something like that. That's what my best guess would be. They had to build all these layers so she couldn't get out. And you couldn't hear her scream. She tried to tear through those walls so many times, but they just kept growing back around her. It drove her completely insane, enraged. She'll haunt anything and rip it to pieces. Now that's some jailer, right? But you and me, we know that being locked up fucks you up inside. We know that so well, don't we? That's why we did what we did. That's why we're getting out. That's why our story doesn't end like hers. Locked up and she's been destroying all these walls that just come back to life. Driving her insane. Ooh, this looks like some sort of maze that we're gonna have to get through. Looks pretty awesome. I like how it's kind of mysterious and we don't know who this person is that we're playing yet. Kind of reminds me of a, like an Afro Samurai type of person. Guys, so I have played this boss quite a few times, and yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. 
Um, this is a pretty difficult boss. It's kind of, um, I don't know how to explain it. When you, when you get hit and when you die, it kind of just resets that area again. So you have to fight, uh, the boss kind of, and that's in their stage of life again. As you can see, they have a couple different stages of life. Um, and if you die, you have to reset that stage you have to do that bar all over again so um, it does it does get a little bit difficult especially when you're just trying to learn the controls and stuff but um, yeah like that there we go but it's it once you get used to their attacks and the controls it's a little bit easier so hopefully we can do a little bit better you really just have to be like really fast with your reactions and you also have to be like really really quick with just hitting the buttons and seeing the attacks and stuff like that but it is I wish that you know you could have your you know the up close stage and the kind of far away stage like this have different life instead of having to restart the whole thing especially since you have to do it like six times for one boss so That was a close one. I'm gonna try and concentrate quite a bit. Hopefully I can do it. Ah, damn it. See? Like that. Like that. <laughs> and then now I gotta start that whole thing over again. So it is pretty difficult. Uh, like I said, I'm totally okay with dropping the difficulty down just because of how difficult this is. Especially when the attacks get a little bit more complex and faster, it does get pretty difficult. And there is really no room for error with this. Also learned um, from playing it that some of the ranged attacks can be parried like uh, when they shoot like those purple balls at you you can um, you can deflect those away which is pretty good it makes it makes playing it um, quite a bit easier like this one oh maybe not that one it does um, she does another attack where she uh, fires a really fast purple one at you and that's the one, um, that's the one you can actually, um, parry back to her. But yeah, for those attacks, I kind of like to keep my distance, um, even that too. Just kind of play it safe. Yeah, this game is really, um, it's pretty strategy based, I would say. And if you're not, um, quick with your reactions and stuff like that, and quick with your timing and just being able to move around pretty quickly and attack pretty quickly, you will get screwed pretty fast. Um, and I, I totally expect that it's only going to get harder from here. So... Uh, with this being the second boss, I will probably have to lower the difficulty at some point, just because um, doing live commentary while I'm playing is a little bit difficult. I don't know if you guys have ever tried that, um, trying to talk and be cohesive with, like, right, or your 
talking and stuff, uh, it is, it does take quite a bit of concentration. Um, so, I will be, probably be lowering the difficulty, and I'm totally fine with that because I'd rather um, enjoy the game uh, as I'm playing it with, like, for you guys, rather than um, getting frustrated with trying to do the same things over and over again, so. Should be pretty close to... There we go. that one, but... Yeah, you have to be pretty good at noticing um, which attacks are going to happen, and then countering that and doing that. So, <coughs> excuse me, it does take a little while to um, figure out what you're doing and stuff like that, but um, see like that, I was hitting circle the whole entire time, but you really have to be super accurate with, um, and precise with your buttons, stuff like that. That's the one that you can, uh, you didn't see it because she shot it to the wall, but that's the one that you can counter. Yeah, so if you get your timing pretty good on that one, you can, um, do it pretty easily, but yeah, and also I'm sorry, I'm really trying to concentrate. There are different buttons for um different things, like or the buttons are also remapped to different things. Like I can use L2 to um do the little dash as well as X. So actually, I found out that. Dodging that is actually a little bit easier. And as soon as you see that, those red attacks, um, if you automatically I didn't know she was going to attack twice. You see those red attacks? As soon as they start the attack animation, if you um, start attacking them, it will cancel their attack. And and yeah, then you can you can do more damage. And also those... I've noticed that if they're doing those attacks, just... If you... Oh, damn it. If you... What's it called? Um, sorry, I'm really trying to concentrate. If you just dodge them, you have a less chance of getting hit, so... Even if you do parry, it does give you health back, but it's it's difficult. This one is pretty difficult. I don't know how to get over that. At all, I really don't, so... Ah, damn it. Yep, they're gonna have to recharge and do it again. Damn it! It is difficult. This is a really difficult boss, guys. And this is only the second boss, so. Yeah, I don't know how to do that to miss that attack. I, I really don't. Like, all the other attacks are pretty good, but that third one with, when she does the swiping...
Oh wow, that one was really fast. Wow, see I'm I'm hitting circle right when it's right when she's attacking, but I don't know what you have to do to get that to get that closer. But it's hard, man. Oh damn. Come on. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I, there's no way to get around that. I don't know. Oh, so if you go over there, she will attack those. Ah, okay. Yeah, see, you can't, you can't parry that either. I don't know how to get around that. Damn it. You can't stop now. We're on the road to freedom. All right. We'll um, beat her. I've been doing this for a while, guys. I think it's time to just... Just change. I'm changing the difficulty. Yeah. Because, damn, that's just... Ugh, it's frustrating. So, um, yeah, I'm probably just going to cut to the end... To, so you guys don't have to sit through a whole another thing because it's going to be exactly the same as this so I'm just going to go ahead and do that Alright guys, so uh, I'm just going to start right here because actually um, this is a lot easier, this mode. As you can see it says promenade, it is a lot easier. They have half the amount of life bars, so you only have to kill them half as many times. And also, their life goes down really fast, and it just makes it easier. I think it, it's a little too easy. But, you know, for this boss, we'll try this, but I don't know, man. And and I also have, I think, two more life bars, so... Oh, shit. Yeah. But, you know, it was really difficult. Having to do double that, six, six bars at that harder difficulty, I think... Um, I think, honestly, it probably should be similar to um, the same amount to damage them but you should just have three bars because now it seems a little too easy does take quite a bit of concentration but um it is not nearly as difficult but for the sake of um being able to play this for you guys i do want to um i did want to lower the level because i would have been playing this level for hours and hours i've already done it I don't know, for probably a good two hours just doing that same one, and it's really difficult, so. I'm, I'm actually, you know, happy that I actually did this one.
crap, what's gonna happen? Oh! Damn. Well done. You put her out of her misery. So it looks like we are going to be going on to the next stage. See what's going to happen after that. She crashed through one day, frantically searching for something. They couldn't make sense of her. She was so wild. So they put her in a cage. Then you came along and they did even worse. Way worse. It all went so wrong. I love the but mystery in this story. Right again. Together. Yeah, I love that we don't know who we are, or who this guy is, or who anything is, why, where we are. It's great. I, re I really like the the mystery, like the mysterious fact about this whole game. And I think we'll unlock more as we go on. But yeah, I really wanted to make that a little bit shorter. I didn't want the the video to go too long, so. All right, guys. So that's gonna do it for episode two of Fury. Uh, it was pretty fun. I'm I'm actually really glad that I switched to the easier difficulty. It is a little bit too easy, in my opinion. I think it should have had, you know, you the you playing as the character character should deal the same damage. So the bar their um life bar should go down um pretty slow, but they should only have three. Uh now that I'm in the easy mode, like their life bar goes down super quick and they only have three. So killing bosses is really, really easy. But again, I was playing that boss for a couple hours and it was just really, really difficult and I was having a lot, a lot of trouble. And I think now it'll just be a lot easier to deal with now that it's in the easier mode. So I can actually commentate and talk about the stuff and, you know, kinda enjoy my playing and not just getting frustrated the whole time. So um, I think maybe once I'm done with this, I'll go back and play it again in the harder modes. And if if you are playing on your own, I would def definitely uh, recommend playing on the harder modes just because it gives you a little more challenge and it's a little more fun. But for me, since I'm doing all this commentary and stuff and trying to get through the game as quick as possible, it's just... Uh, it's just really really hard so I'm really glad I did that so thank you guys for sticking around for that hopefully uh, it doesn't go too fast for you guys but I'll be cranking all these out because this is an awesome game definitely go pick it up like I said before um, if you missed any of the videos go check out the playlist so yeah if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you haven't done so already I want to say thank you guys so much for watching see you guys in the next one